Okay, we're back. So um, I had a first tutorial, like level one, and this is another level one tutorial. This one's going to show us how to change these 3D objects from just being plain old white. All right. So say I want this um, floor area here. I'm holding down the Alt key and the left mouse button. Say I want the floor there. I want it to be a different thing. I want it to be like a wooden floor. So I want it to paint like wood on there. Um, first thing I have to do is find a picture of the floor. So I'm going to go into my browser and I'm just going to type in something to find some pictures for the floor. 3D textures floor. And I'll go to the images results only so I can see all the image results. And here I see some images of floors that I could use. It's just something you could just go out there on the internet and do. So when you pick a floor, make sure you know you pick something that's looking straight down like this. Um, otherwise, if you pick something like this, it's still going to work. It's just not going to be what I expected. It's I want I want to pick a texture that's like a straight down look. See this one here. This is like a sideway look. This is a side uh, look at an angle. But if I pick something that's looking straight down, then that will come out nice as a texture. So I could pick any of these. Let's pick. I'm gonna pick this one. So I'm just gonna. This is Google Chrome. I click on it, and then now that I'm seeing the image, I can right click and I say Save As. Now, saving the image, I have to put it in a location of my project, which um, when I saved Unity. When I made this project and I saved it, I saved it somewhere on my hard drive. So it's on my C drive, C drive, and I know I put it in the Omar folder. And here's where I put all my Unity projects. And the one that, um, this is the Tutorials 01 project. So here's Tutorials 01. You see the path is displaying itself there. And in my project, I need to put things in the Assets folder. As long as something's in the assets folder, my project can pick it up and see it. So I'm going to call this um, floor wood 01. It's my first example of a wood floor. I'm going to save it in that folder. You can see Google finished saving it. Close that. Now if I go back to my project, you can see floor wood 1 shows up in my project file. To use this as a texture, I have a little shortcut. It's an easy thing to do. After I have it showing in my project folder, I can just click on it, hold the button down, and drag it over the floor and let go. And voila, the texture is on the floor. Isn't that cool? That's kind of easy. And what it did was a couple of things for us. It took the texture image. And when I dropped it on that 3D object, the floor, it just basically made a material for me called floor wood. Mm -hmm. Now, if I look at the, in the hierarchy window, I look at my 3D object, that was a plane, right? And here is the floor wood. And here I could do some properties about the floor wood. Like, for example, the smoothness. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's a flat surface. I see it gets darker and brighter. What does metallic do? Mm -hmm, like if it was metal or if it was wood. There's a couple of things here. Here's one of the main things. The tiling. Over here, the tiling. Right now, that image that we got from the internet, this image. See? Just one tile of it. Here, the whole one tile is displaying across the whole plane but I can make it display two times in the X. See, two times in the X. Or, you know, five times in the X. And then you start seeing it like that. So X, remember here, X is the red. This is the red. So X is displaying five times. I'm gonna say two times X. And then I can do the same thing for the Y direction. That's the blue. How many times in a row do I want to display the blue is two. So now you can see the tiling is two, 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 two. And 
let's do something else. This offset thing here, another thing other than typing numbers in, I can just put my mouse over the, the label and drag it left and right, and I could move the, um, see this? I'm moving like where it starts drawing the image. So I could do that if I wanted to. Boom, let's see. Ooh. That, yeah, maybe that's like minus 0.25 to be exact. And then maybe in the Y direction, I could do the same thing if I want to. This is, you don't have to do this. This is just like how you play around with the textures. If you wanted them to move around 0.25, boom. I could do that, you know? And that's a little bit about how I got an image from the internet and how I could drop it on and make a texture out of it. Now let's say the cube, I'm going to select the cube in the hierarchy window. Now the cube is selected. Let me zoom in with the mouse wheel. Zoom in so I can look at the cube. And I click the mouse wheel down so I can just see it from this angle right here like this. Now for the cube, say I want to do something for the cube. I want to make the cube red. I can go around looking for a red image, um, but I don't really have to do that. Remember, my image was like a step, and then it made a material that used the image. I'm just going to make a material, create um, material, and I'm just going to I'm going to make my square red. Okay, so I'm going to call this material red. And then I click on the material, and here I have the properties of material. So right here is, see, this is what the material is going to look like. So far, it's white, this new material that I'm making. So I click in that little white box here, and then it brings up this dialog for the color. And now I could pick whatever color I want. The circle and the square is the color that I'm going to see. See? This is the color that's going to show, and it's showing what it looks like over here. Could I pick red or dark red or bright red? And say you want some blue. Well, there's this other bar over here that's the hue. And I can change the hue to blues, purples. After I get the color I want, I said I wanted red, right? All right, so I'm going to put it up to this red here. And I'm just going to pick a nice deep red like that. And I'm going to close the box. So now the color is red of the material that I just made and um, here it is the red material so I'm going to click on the red material and drag and drop it to the cube boom so now I got a red cube which is just the color I made and then I got a floor which is a color too let me add another object in here because some things you can't really see like shininess and things like that when shiny things are showing in, in, in this box, it's usually better if you have something that's like a circle. So I'm going to add another game object to my scene. So make sure you click the at the top level, right click, game object, 3D object. I'm going to add a, um, a capsule, okay? Capsule looks like a pill. And there it is. There's a pill. And I want to move it from that spot, so I make sure... I have the translate icon selected, and that's the one where it shows these arrows like this. And I'm going to go right in the middle there and pick this box to move it along these axes like this. And I'm just going to move it out of the way of the square so I can see both of them. Okay. And I want to move it up so you can see it not touching the floor. That's just, you know, what I want to do. And now for the sphere or for this pillow, let me find another 3D texture. I'm going to type search. I could type search for whatever. I just want a picture of something. 3D texture, blah, 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 blah. Shiny. Shiny. Let's see what kind of pictures come up. Oh, we got some things that look like metal. Look at this here. Oh, I'm just going to pick one. Hmm. Ooh, look at this, like snake skin. <clears throat> and all these images, they have different sizes. You see what we hear, it says 500 by 500. That's the bigger the numbers, the bigger the image is. And the bigger the image is, the more memory it's going to take. So, uh, what should I pick? 
Maybe I don't like shiny. Maybe I need like um, something else like metal. Metal. Metal textures. Oh, that's cool. All right, so I got some metal texture. Look at this. This looks pretty. Metal. Stainless steel. I'm going to right click. Save as. And I make sure I'm in my folder. Oh, my Unity Tutorials Assets. This is where my project is. And luckily, this remembered where it was, so I don't have to find it again. And now I'm just going to give it a name. Um, this is going to be Metal 01. Okay. Yeah. Boom for that. Now go back to Unity. And Unity should show Metal 01 right there. And now if I want to remember guys, I just take it, drag it on the cube, on the pill, and drop it. And it's kind of showing the metal 01. Let me click my mouse down and move this over. Okay. Let's see. You can play around with this and make it look shinier. So I pick the capsule and I go to metal. Well, here's a metallic thing over here, so maybe I could just play with this, see if it looks more metal if I go this way or that way. And then if I play with the smoothness, whoa, that doesn't look right, does it? So, oh, but you see, the smoothness gives it like a shininess, right? Play with that. And I did do the tiling for the floor. What happens if I make this repeat twice as many times? Like instead of one by one, it goes two by two. Does that look better? Maybe not the Y direction, because now I can see it's cut. It's like two by one. Boom. About three. Yeah, I kind of like that. The more I go in that direction, that looks good. Yeah, there you go. What's these other settings here? Specular? What's that do? Sometimes you just gotta click things. Ah, specular gives a shine. Reflections. Uh, I think it's reflecting the floor, like if the floor is brown, then I turn on reflections and it kind of reflects a little bit. But you can't really see it with this material that we have. The more of these things you click on, the more processing power it's gonna take for your game. But um, let me just run this. Now that I have these materials on here, and I have an object in there, what happens when I'm moving my cube around? If I bump into that, uh oh, hey, there it goes. It's moving now. Move back, turn a little bit, and what happens when I go into the cube? Well, it just moves, it just draws right through the cube. It doesn't really stop or bang into it. That's something else we have to do to be able to tell when something touches something. Ding. Okay. So that's what we're going to do for this one. I just wanted to show you how you could change the color or, you know, draw pictures on the objects in the scene. It's basically that easy. You could do it all from the Unity interface and finding some images with your browser. Okay. There you go.